you see sex toys as a threat in a relationship? I don't think so. No, it's not. It's, it's not a threat. I'm against the use of it. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yes, I think it's a threat. Okay, well, sex toys, myself personally, I don't even like them. I don't like them because I don't know what role it plays in our relationship. I don't at all. Something artificial? No. It will, it will be a disturbance and it's more like it will be an addiction to whoever uses it, be it the man or be it the woman. So I see sex toys like a form of porn for ladies in terms of masturbation. As some guys are addicted to masturbation, well, sex toys can also be a very addictive and it can really bring problems. So to me, no, I'm against the use of it. Then there is a happy ending you're looking for. You're looking for orgasm. So it's not only, listen, a lot of women don't get off on uh, penetration like sexual penetration. There are so many ways to get an orgasm. And it's not a penis that can get you there automatically. There are times when a woman has a, woman, a man enter her and she doesn't feel anything. So some of the, the sex toys come with vibration. That's why they call it a vibrator. It has to vibrate and that's what gives you that sensation. And it's not every time you can get that from the penis. So sometimes most women have sex with a guy and they never orgasm. But when you have the enhancement, which is the sex toys and all the other things, it makes you get turned on more and takes you there, like takes you to the orgasm or to your peak. And so um, it's either you communicate with a man you are with to help you to get there or you do it by yourself. And either way, at the end of the day, the goal is to get your happy ending. So how you get there is up to you. No. Um, in a case where two people are in a relationship, um, you know yourself, you know each other, you know this person can perform to a certain level, and if a sex toy can um, take the whole fun thing to that level you all want, then it's fine. If I can't do one hour uh, and I think a sex toy can help me with like 35 minutes of the time, why not? I would go for it because at the end of the day, it's the same results we are getting. So, uh, you also don't uh, feel that nowadays, because the sex toys are outperforming men, maybe men are scared that in future women wouldn't even look at them, oh, but rather oh. concentrate on sex toys. It won't happen. It won't happen because um, even after using a sex toy, you will still need the touch of a human being. You still need the touch of another person. So there is no way sex toy can touch you. A sex toy cannot kiss you. A sex toy cannot hug you, cuddle you. No. So sex toys are really relevant if you ask me in a relationship. Yes, to some extent. Uh, if it is used more of the time, a time will come that your partner can't satisfy you. So you would want to go in for the sex toy to make up or to feel satisfied more. And if it is used most of the time, it's somehow losing the connection between you and your partner. So you become so addictive to the sex toy. Instead of sharing emotions and hearts and love between your partner. Oh, I think so in a sense that um, the sex in a relationship or any relationship, marriage or any relationship, is between two parties. 
mutual satisfaction. So if uh, one person is going to rely on a, a third party, no matter what you say it is, it's a third party, the toy becomes a third person. So that's more like a threesome or of some sort. And it will breed competition. When the pe other person gets too comfortable with the toy, <laughs> then you become useless. Or more so, you become less important in the... So I think it's a, it's a threat. And uh, it may look nice, I think. It may look nice or pleasurable in the beginning, but over time, Continuous use will probably make the other person dependent on, on the toy and it will bring some kind of uh, enmity within the relationship. Yeah. Yes, I see it as a threat. Because that thing, that thing in the first place is very risky to our health. And I don't, I don't see the reason why, I mean, which you use sex toys. I mean, it's it's not necessary. If your if your partner isn't giving you, I mean, what you like, you just call it off and go away. Rather than going for sex toys, that will, I mean, harm you. No, it's not. It's, it's not a trait. It helps in um, in sex actually. Um, it depends on the man you are you are with or the woman you are with. Yeah, whether he or she is comfortable with it. But I don't think it's a threat. It's, it's nice to do that. Yes, to, to add it to your sex life. It's really bring something new out of it and it's like you're exploring. Yeah, so. so what is nice about it? It's nice, what is nice about it? Um, it's, it's going to give you uh, multiple pleasures at the same time. Yeah. Your man is giving you some kind of pleasure, you're using the sex toy for some kind of pleasure, so like, you're gonna get multiple pleasures. 